Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to share with you. That's what it was. I wanted to share with you something that I found. Now, I've never. I have. Wow. I've never uh, liked inside the waistband carry. I didn't have the right kind of holster to do it with, I guess, because I've tried it here recently with uh, a company called Alien Gear Holsters. Uh, and I'm telling you, it's really growing on me quick. I mean, this is all I've been carrying around in this from Alien Gear. Now, there's. And I'll tell you what's so special about this thing here in a little bit. Um, I'm sure it's just like a cross. What do they call that? Crossbreed. A crossbreed holster, uh, King Tuck, something like that. Is that what they call it? Um, it's it's the same concept, same basic design. The difference is uh, the Kydex that's being used is .093, and I I assume that's. Uh, 93 thousandths of an inch. Is that a good assumption? Am I a good assumer or what? Anyway, uh, so it's a it's a pretty durable. Can't hardly even bend this thing, but the leather is guaranteed to be 100% sweat proof. And with these things, the way they swivel, you can adjust the cant just by moving these. So if you want it to, to go a little more upright, you just move these this way, and look what happens. Of course, you'll have to move one of these up or down, however you like. But I kind of like the way this thing sits. I didn't think I would like this at all when I first sent my first email to, I th I believe his name is Alan. I'm not real sure, so don't hold me to that. But uh, I sent my email to him, told him, hey, I'd love to review one. He sent one right out to me. And uh, started trying it out. I'm telling you, look how it forms. It forms to this side of the gun. And then, of course, this side's already formed. But this thing, when you put this on your belt, it does not move. It doesn't move at all. It stays right where it's supposed to stay. Uh, of course, this is what I've been carrying with it. See? Now, he hadn't uh, test fit the Taurus for this. Now here's where it would normally be. And you can tell it's just a little bit off. The Taurus 1911 is just a little, little bit off. But that don't mean a thing. Because everything else is right where it's supposed to be. It goes down a little bit further than what it's supposed to. Big deal. See? You've got maybe eighth of an inch on the end. It comes out below that. And then this fits perfect. You can adjust the tension on this. But I don't see any need. You already got a belt riding over the top of it. The back of the leather forms to the gun, so you got a perfect holster right there. Um, the retention, once you put a belt on it, I mean, there's just some drag, enough for you to get it out of there. Uh, now, when you first put it on, it's a little bit of work, but other than that, you know, this thing is just so comfortable. It's great. I love it. Uh, let's talk about the concealability of it for a minute. This thing hides this gun better than any other holster I've had. And for big boys, yes, Mike, I mean fat. 
Shut up. Uh, for the big boys out there, you know how hard it is to conceal a weapon on your side. I wear this about between 3 and 3.30, somewhere along there. I don't wear this where it's supposed to be carried at, which is, I believe, 4 o'clock, right, right over your back pocket. But, you know, for me, that's just kind of an awkward reach, you know. I mean, it's kind of natural when you just reach back there to get your wallet, but to reach for a gun and go higher than that, it just, uh, I don't like it. But, about 3.30 works just perfect for me. And you can see that you can get a full firing grip. How do I do that? Yeah, there you go. Can you see it? I can't tell. But you can get a full firing grip on it. Now you might have to work at it a little bit to get that. Here I was thinking about locking the slide open and ended up putting it back in the holster. You might have to work a little bit to get that grip by either leaning forward or, or back so you can drive your thumb down in there a little bit easier. But I mean, it's just a slight modification in the draw that you've already got. So, not that big a deal. We're going to show you how this little bitty thing fits in there. See, that fits in there perfect. And you can tell pretty much where he's got that little indention right there at the top of the grip. I mean it's just so just about any 1911 will work in this. Now as far as the difference see Mike's kind of been on me about that here lately turn it into an old mother hen that's what Mike's doing. But anyway this particular 1911, the Taurus, PT 1911, if you look at where this rides, the, uh, the extended safety, that's right about in the middle of that pad. So, I don't see where there's any problem with this other than every once in a while that'll kind of gouge me in the side a little bit, the beaver tail but a quick little adjustment you're done so so far let's see if we hit on everything here we got the uh, the function it does exactly what it's supposed to do it this thing hides this gun better than any other holster I've had not even kidding it keeps it real close to the body uh, it's the most comfortable holster I've ever had I forget it's there half the time. The only time I I start freaking out because I'm like, What's, oh yeah, <laughs> and it's there. Uh, okay, let me tell you a little bit about alien gear. I almost said the wrong word. Alien gear holsters. Um, I regret that I didn't get the gentleman's name. Like I said, I believe it's Alan, but uh. Now, if it's not Alan, I'm going to call you Alan anyway. All right, I hope that doesn't offend you and you don't come looking for me. But uh, Alan's been fascinated with aliens all his life. I don't blame him, so have I. Um, it's kind of a little self-centered of us to think that we're the only hunk of rock out here just close enough to a sun, but yet just far enough away to create that Goldilocks environment out of how many... Anyway, that's another video, I guess. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe there's there's something out there. So, anyway, uh, that's where he got the name of the company for. And the, the name of the company is right there and it's kinda cool looking but nobody ever sees it because you know this is inside your pants unless you're gonna go around showing people what's inside your pants I can just see the comments now stop but anyway uh, they've been in business for only right at six months 
So, I mean, and they've got things going on, man. They've got, uh, with this kind of quality, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty high quality product. Now, if you go and look at one of these holsters, a holster similar to this, you're going to be prepared to spend anywhere between $75 and $150. That's just fact. You don't believe me? You're sitting at a computer right now. Look it up. Uh, the price of this is extremely attractive. The price of this holster right here is $29.88. As a matter of fact, the price of all their holsters are $29.88. I know that's hard to believe, but you can go to their website and look it up. See this is how you're sitting in front of a computer anyway, right? I want to read to you their warranty. Um, they have what's called the 30-day test drive. This is coming right from their website at aliengearholsters.com They have the 30-day test drive. Uh, here's what it says. You are not going to like your new... Oh, you are not just going to like your new Alien Gear holster. You're going to love it. That's guaranteed. Wear it for a month, and if you don't agree that it's the most comfortable and concealable holster you've ever owned, we'll buy it back. No questions asked. No hard feelings. That's the 30-day what he's calling a test drive. Check this out. Free trades for life. If you ever decide to carry a different handgun, we will trade your plastic shell to match your new gun. You may make unlimited trades as long as you own your Alien Gear holster. Anybody else doing that? I haven't seen anybody doing that unless I overlooked it so tell me if I'm wrong forever warranty this is their forever warranty if any part of your alien gear holster ever breaks for any reason including the clips you know these nifty things we'll repair it or replace it for free how much better can you get than that? I mean, they've taken all the risk out of it for you. You know how many times I've went and bought something thinking I'll try it. If I don't like it, I guess I'm out 20 bucks. You ever done that? Everybody's done that. They're taking that particular part of it away from you, people. $29.88. You don't like it. Send it back to them. They give you your money back. Period. That's it. I mean... And I've, I asked him if he'd ever been tested on any part of his warranty. He said, no, I've never had a warranty issue. But I did have some, but, you know, a few people send it back because they didn't like it. So I sent them their money back. And, you know, I understand because inside the waistband just isn't for everybody. And he said that. I've heard that. It wasn't for me for the longest time. But I must not have had the right holster because I love this thing. I, I really don't mind carrying inside the waistband them. Um, you got to give these guys a try. I mean, I've been carrying this thing around for a while now. And you can look in there and you can see that the inside of the, the leather, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the inside of the leather is forming to the weapon. The uh, I love this thing. You got to give it a shot. Um, like I said, it's twenty nine eighty eight. Thirty bucks, you get a quality product, just as high a quality as Crossbreed, King Tuck, all these other guys that are making them. And plus, you get a cool looking little alien right there. That is cool. I like it. Give them a try, guys. Uh, it's www.aliengearholsters.com. Um, you can find it on Facebook. I've got a $175 Mitch Rosen. 
and I like this $29.88 inside the waistband holder better, holster better. Just goes to show you, man, when, when you pay for a name, that's what you're getting is the name. There's no doubt Mitch Rosen is high quality, but I'm telling you, comfort, concealability, function, I mean, you just can't beat this, man. So let me know what you think, especially after you give them a try. You order one. And, uh, you know, you give them a try and you like it, let me know. I like this one. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay armed.